Okay, uh, good evening, welcome to... Monster Math 17. Monster Math 17. Um, so you moved on um, from your PowerPoint section today in your geometry book to 3D geometry, which is kind of fun because we've done a lot of 3D geometry, right? Mm -hmm. um, um, so cool, I'm actually excited for, uh, for you to be studying this kind of more formally rather than just kind of informally like we do it. So the your, your first problem you picked for this section is find the volume of a cube given that the diagonal, the space diagonal, has length 6. It's a good problem. Well... So, let's draw a cube. So, here's a cube. We have Space diagonal is this. This from here up to here. Okay, so how could how could we how could we describe that better than just saying it goes from here to here? It's the longest distance you can make inside of a cube. Okay. Yeah. Good. So it goes from one corner to the farthest corner away. That's and good. we know that's six. Yeah, we know that length is six. I also know call this X. The side diagonal. Uh -huh. is x root 2, because you have a isosceles right triangle. Okay. That means you have an x, x root 2. This would be x root 3. Cool. Okay. And x root 3 is 6. 3x is, or actually 3x squared, is 36. x squared is 18. X is 3 root 2. Okay. Now you could have just divided by root 3 mm -hmm. over here. And you would have got 6 over root 3. And how could you simplify that? I'm multiplying by root 3, so you have 6 root 3 over 3. Yep. Okay. And what do we need to find now? Then, I think it was the volume. Okay. So, it's this cubed. So, 9, so 18 root 2, you have 9, wait, no, um, you have 27 times 2 root 2. Okay. So, 54 root 2. Nice. Now, I'll show you another, another thing, just, just, again, these are just little things to make your life easier x cubed is x times x squared, right? Mm-hmm. You've got that right there. Mm. So, so you could have just done 3 root 2 times 18. Um, and that's fine. But you also notice a fun little pattern here. Um, in a cube, you've got a triangle that's x, x root 2, x root, x root 3, right? Mm-hmm. In a hypercube, you'd have... 2x for yeah. the hyperspace diagonal. For the longest diagonal, you have 2x. This x root 3 could still be around. And then you could have another side going away from that, and that would be a short side's 1, long side's 2, other side's root 3. So what's that? 30, 60, 90. Yeah, so there's a, there's a secret 30, 60, 90 triangle hiding inside of a hypercube huh. with the diagonals. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, good job, huh? Good work. That was nicely done.